want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak that started in China and is now spreading throughout the world. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. We have been in frequent contact with our allies and we are marshalling the full power of the federal government and the private sector to protect the American people. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. I am confident that by counting and continuing to take these tough measures, we will significantly reduce the threat to our citizens and we will ultimately and expeditiously defeat this virus. After consulting with our top government health professionals, I have decided to take several strong but necessary actions to protect the health and well-being of all Americans. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The new rules will go into effect Friday at midnight. These restrictions will be adjusted subject to conditions on the ground. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings, and these prohibitions will not only apply to the tremendous amount of trade and cargo, but various other things as we get approval. Anything coming from Europe to the United States is what we are discussing. These restrictions will also not apply to the United Kingdom. At the same time, we are monitoring the situation in China and the South Korea, and as their situation improves, we will reevaluate the restrictions and warnings that are currently in place for a possible early opening. The vast majority of Americans, the risk is very, very low. Young and healthy people can expect to recover fully and quickly if they should get the virus. The highest risk is for elderly population with underlying health conditions. The elderly population must be very, very careful. In particular, we are strongly advising that nursing homes for the elderly suspend all medically unnecessary visits. In general, older Americans should also avoid non-essential travel in crowded areas. My administration is coordinating directly with communities with largest outbreaks and we have basically in layman's terms we're all fucked for the next month <sighs> if there was if there was ever a time to hit the panic button it's time to fucking panic time to come like a video the coronavirus is now a pandemic, uh, and the people of the flat earth should start panicking right now. Pat down the hatches. Mm. Uh, it's a coronavirus pandemic, uh, category five. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, drop the beats. In the planet of Earth, I am the most famous person of the world. Everybody knows who I am, even the people who don't know who I am. Because I am very super famous, super famous, super famous, very, very super famous. A lot of people know I exist. I am very super famous, super famous, super famous, very super famous. You are not, so you are shit. countries like Japan, North, South, East, West to East. I make their panties wet like basements in New Orleans. In the France language, girls say mon moitié génito. Spanish girls also say things, but I don't know what they're talking about because I don't speak Spanish at all, but they're probably talking about... Uh, that's right. The old and frail should batten down the hatches, stay indoors. Stay out of large population gatherings. And that goes for Gumby Man Zero Two, who suffers from every uh, known ailment on WebMD.
continue sitting welded to that fucking computer chair at Gumby Man Zero Two. Remember the last time you went outdoors? Uh, you fell down. Cause you're fucking frail. And a fat cunt. Ah, boop the girl. Mike May, don't even step foot off the porch. You know what happened. The pear shaped Glen, Piss Glen, don't even step foot off the porch. Damn near fucking broke your back. <clears throat> and especially OD'd. Fucking frail. <clears throat> Batman hatches, it's a coronavirus pandemic. <clears throat> Ah, boop the crew. Everybody made it into a joke, but now it's serious. Now nobody can root on their favorite squadron at their nearest arena or stadium due to the coronavirus. And people can't even learn their lies at the schools and colleges, which is for the better. Just learn everything on the internet. That's where I learned Adolf, Adolf Hitler was Walt Disney. Most information you're going to find on the flat earth, right inside this laptop computer, compact presario. Simply amazing. Going on damn near six years with it. Hasn't failed me yet. Just a couple of glitches. Uh, speaking of glitches, fuck your brew pub glitch, triple seven. Florida is a fucking shithole. Bolt the girl label out. you to bump your numbers of television dinners on hand from 15 to 30 at least a month of television dinners 
sprinkling in some canned goods, some snacks, uh, and of course, delicious Oreozies and malt liquor. <coughs> oh, <coughs> always fucking stock up on that. TV dinners go from 15 to fucking 30. Load up the fucking fridge. Cram them in there. Label out bolt liquor. Everybody was waiting for steel to make that coronavirus uh, bolt liquor video update. Well, it's here. I'm making it. Just laying low, thinking, uh, oh, no big, no big deal. But they're shutting down arenas, having bowl clubs play with no fans in the stands. All across the flat earth. It's getting fucking serious. Purchase will. Join the meatloaf and gravy, Marie Calendar's television dinner. Fucking delicious. Thought it was only the Salisbury steak, but the meatloaf is fucking delicious. Two dollars out the door. I'm gonna load up tomorrow. Load up the fucking carriage inside the supermarket. Then roll the carriage out to my Chevrolet. And dump those TV dinners into my Chevrolet. It's not a game, officially. In that shithole country of Canada. Fucking wall up them with the coronavirus. Wipe Canada right off the flat earth. Uh, you heard it here. Stock market's going crazy. Can't even celebrate your 
local squadron. It's fucking serious. Serious molt liquor business. No door phone.